Hey everybody, I'm Sean Carter. I'm here at Iron Furnace for our Tuesday night unseen comedy show. I'm here with my friend Peter Martin, a uh, very funny stand-up comedian here in Boston. We're going to watch a quick clip of him doing some stand-up, and then we'll come back and ask him a couple questions about comedy. You guys ever meet someone who's really, really racist and not homophobic? <laughs> It's usually a package deal, right? You can't be really, really racist and not a little homophobic. Otherwise, that guy's like, I hate Mexicans, Koreans, Brazilians, and if they're queer, well, who am I to tell them they can't find love? That's not my place. Do you have a favorite joke of yours that you do? It's, I mean, it's, it's like asking which kid is your favorite, you know? Can't keep track. <laughs> Uh, I really, really, really am very happy about a new joke that I wrote called Progressive Hate Speech. <laughs> and racism, homophobia. I, th I think that there's stupid, ignorant reasons to hate people. They are. They're stupid and they're fucking... But what bothers me the most about it is that they're old. They're outdated. You know? And it's like... I'm not telling you that you need to stop hating people, I'm just telling you that you need to start hating people for more modern reasons. <laughs> like, I don't care if you're gay or black or Muslim, the big three, I don't care, you know? <laughs> but if you wear skinny jeans and a V-neck t-shirt and think you're better than me because you shop at a Whole Foods, I don't much care for your people. <laughs> if you're transgender, who gives a shit? I don't give a fuck what you pee out of. But if your favorite band is Matchbox 20, I don't think you should be allowed to vote. <laughs> it is great, that's why I said it. thank you. <laughs> if you come to this country and you don't speak an ounce of English, that's fine. Welcome. I failed English three times in middle school and now I speak pretty fucking... Good, right? That's fine. Come on in, buddy. But if I ever see you at a movie theater during the film, just texting and just your whole face lit up with just, just hashtag, you know, I will leave a burning cross on your lawn. I will. No, oh, I'm sorry. Is that like bothering you? I'm sorry. You try to enjoy some? Oh, how rude of me. All right, so that's Peter Martin. Peter, Hello. thanks for being here today, man. Yeah, no, I love it here. Nice. Uh, how long have you been doing comedy for? Uh, I think I've been doing it uh, seven years, about. Does that sound right? Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, seven years. And, You're asking uh, me. <laughs> like no, creepy. it's just like, I, I think I remember meeting you seven years. It's creepy to think. I've known you for seven yeah, years. Yeah, that is crazy. It's really weird about. to go by. It goes by like that. Um, but yeah, I've been doing it for seven years and it's just, I love it. I love it so much. It's so fun to do. It's, uh, it's kind of one of those things, like it's, it hurts, you know, like you, you, <laughs> it sucks so much that you have to really like it. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like a bad relationship. Like that's what comedy, am I hitting a little too hard at home? Yeah, okay, right yeah. I mean, I'm divorced, so I haven't quit comedy yet, so you're, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if you're trying to talk me into that. No, 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 it's like, just this like, is kind of like your marriage, you know you can walk away from <laughs> yeah. it, right? <laughs> yeah, but it's, I don't know, it's just, it can be painful, it can be really painful when you go up and you just eat a bag of uh, poop uh, <laughs> on stage and you have to love it to come back and do it again and again and again. Until you stop eating as much poop. Yeah. You know? I'm glad you edit, you like censored yourself. There, I did. Because our sponsors would be, you know. Yeah. Do you have sponsors? Back. No. No. <laughs> so, are there any um, any shows that stick out in your head as particularly uh, fun shows that you've done? Yeah. Yeah. This one, I mean for Tuesdays too. And everybody said, Tuesdays is notoriously a slow night of comedy in like almost any city. And this place is for some reason hot fire on Tuesdays. The Iron Furnace, it, no, it's packed to a point where like it's confusing because it's Tuesday and people shouldn't be out boozing, but Quincy, uh, <laughs> they're boozing hard. Uh, so this place is amazing. The Iron Furnace is awesome. And uh, I also love doing uh, The Gas. Uh, on Friday, the Great, Great Scott, Scott in, yeah. what's that, Alston? Alston, yeah. yeah. Rob Crean's room. It's a little alty, but it's like a punk rock club, and it's just... Yeah, it's, it's a fun room. Yeah, balls to the wall comedy. It's yeah. good. Endgame, best case scenario, what are you looking to do? 
In comedy? Yeah, in comedy. Yeah. You know what, man? I've talked to all sorts of comedians. I've talked to, and everyone always says something different. Some people move to L.A. They want to be on TV. Yeah. They want to do movies. They want to do arenas. I just, I'm realistic. I think I'm just going to become a road comic and become like one of those really hard, hard, strong comics that yeah. just eventually people are just going to come out and, you know, start knowing me. Yeah. You know, uh. And I think that's kind of some old grassroots way of doing it. You know, I don't want to. I don't want to be a movie star. I don't want to. I don't want to be a famous TV character. I just want to be a stand-up comic. Thanks for doing this tonight. Thank you, Sean. And uh, we're gonna go do the show right now. Thanks so much for being here. Oh, thank you, Sean. Thanks for watching.